now. Okay, here's the notes for this new unit on rigid transformation. So put unit, we're doing a, a new unit, rigid. Rigid transformations. Now the word rigid, have you guys heard this word before? Anybody heard that word before? Well, maybe even if you have, it doesn't mean the same what it means here in math. Eric, you have? Huh? Okay. Well, like I said, yeah, maybe you've heard it in another context. But here, when they're talking about math and geometry, rigid, because we're going to be talking about shapes and figures, this means the shape... It means the shape, copy this in please. Does not change in size. Does not change in size. Later in this unit, yes. Later we will have some that do the shape will get larger, the shape will scale up, or the shape will get smaller, it'll shrink, right? But right now what we're doing, introduction, the, the shape will stay the same size. A transformation, it's not going to transform into something else. Again, I know, you, I know you know the word transform, but there's different types of transformations. And today the type of transformation, it, it is going to change. It changes orientation, it changes size, it changes location. That's what they mean by transformations. But the one that we're going to learn today is called a translation. And you're like, what? Isn't that the same word? Well, no. And then what it means here in math, it doesn't mean a translation like, oh, translate the word from English to Spanish. No, it's not that kind of a translation like from one language to the other. Okay, a translation in math and in geometry means like to move it. To move it or a shift. To shift it to a new location. That's all we're going to do. It's so easy. I'm going to give you a shape and again, just get familiar with this word. It's gonna, it's, we're going to perform a translation, which is a move or a shift. We're just going to shift it to a new place. I'm going to tell you how many units to move it left or right. And I'm going to tell you how many units to move it up and down. And when you move it, should it change size? No. Remember, it should look exactly the same. It's like a copy. It's a rigid transformation. Okay, here's the first one. The first one, I'm going to tell you that point A, go ahead and plot this point on the graph here. Right? We're going to plot a point at negative 4, 7. Remember, X is the first coordinate and Y is the second. So we're going to start from the origin, which is here, and you're going to go negative 4 on the X and then up 7. So that is this point right here. And that is point A. And the next one is point B and that's going to be uh, negative 8, 2. Go ahead and plot that point and, and label it point B. Negative 8, 2 would be right there. Mm -hmm. And negative 4 point C will be negative 4, 2. So obviously if it's three points, it's a triangle, right? It's a triangle. Okay. Can we connect these dots and we're going to... And we're going to see this track. We're going to see the three sides, right? We'll go ahead and connect them like that. Doesn't have to be perfect. And I'm going to just lightly shade it because it looks cool. Okay. 
So whether the shape is given to you and the coordinates are there, you can plot them out. When we do this on delta math, it'll already be there. Okay, here's one of the directions. If they tell you in words, in words, um, this is what it would sound like. This would be the directions. Translate. You're going to perform a translate to translate, or it's called a translation, okay? Again, what does it mean when they say the word translate? To move or shift. We're going to move or shift this. Translate the figure. The figure A, B, C. I mean, later it's not going to be a triangle. It's going to be whatever shape. It'll be like, it'll look like those tetra shapes, like those blocks. It, whatever shape it is, it doesn't matter. That's not, that's beside the point. Whatever shape it is. In this case, I just put a triangle. Translate the figure A, B, C. Now, here's the, here's the part that I think you'll be able to handle on your own. Six units right, comma. I want you to move this six two units to the right and and four units down. Does everybody understand what the objective is here? That you're going to get this exact same shape and we're going to relocate it. And I just told you how much to, I'm sorry? No, ex from where it is now, I want it to be six unit right of it and then exactly four units down. From where it is now, from where, it is, from where it's sitting right there, right now, I want you to now move it six units right and four units down. I'm going to give you like a minute or two. 